Let's see how the default text-to-speech plugin works. This is text-to-speech. Yeah, looks like I'm gonna need a bigger plugin. Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of my MetaHuman journey in Unreal Engine 5. In the previous episodes, I have been tracking the body and the face of a MetaHuman using a regular webcam. If you haven't seen those episodes, I will put a link in the description below. In this episode, I'm building speech components that will give the text-to-speech and the speech recognition capabilities to my MetaHuman. I was looking for a solution that would work in real time, run locally, and will not require a cloud subscription. And of course, it will have to sound realistic. I chose the Qt framework as a potential solution for building and testing these components since I've been working with that framework for quite some time. I looked online at what Qt can offer in terms of speech and I came across this blog, but it fell short of expectation when I saw the comments. This wasn't going to work. I wanted to find a better solution. That's why I went ahead and made my own version instead. I will still be using Qt for its user interface, microphone and speaker support. So this is the application. I'm gonna paste some text and let's check how it sounds. This is a text-to-speech application developed with Qt. I can also choose a different voice this is a text-to-speech application developed with Qt. This is a text-to-speech application developed with Qt. Now, here is my speech recognizer that I have also created with Qt. Along the way, I also have decided to implement an audio waveform widget and an audio level widget that you will see in action shortly. But for that, I needed to find a way to intercept the audio packets, something like an audio probe. But then I came across this page that shows the changes to Qt Multimedia. And among the new features in Qt 6, I have noticed that the audio probing API has been removed, and since I'm using Qt 6, there will be a problem. So again, I had to come up with a workaround and implement my own version of the audio probe. And this is the final version of the application. Testing one, two, three. Hello world. This is an application created with Qt. What does a baby computer call its father? Data. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please press like and subscribe to be notified of the next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.